So basically what I'm doing is taking taking a line from the output, uh, which is the side with the circle here. I'm going to take that line and uh, I'm going to move it even further away from it so it doesn't combine with itself there. Bring that up into this. Uh, hmm. No, that, that definitely needs to be there. That's blocking the lava. So there we go. So now this has power. Uh, well, it will once it has a redstone source or um, uh, you know what I mean. If, if, as soon as it gets a redstone sig signal, then we're good. But this also needs a uh, some sort of engine on it. So we're going to put redstone engine to pump stuff out of our bottler and into this chest, which is going to be our buffer. So there we go. Got a bunch of stuff already going. We need uh, we need to put down some wire. And uh, in fact, I'm not 100% sure if this wire will charge both of these machines. In fact, let's do a quick test. Do a lever. And uh, yep, it's going to power both. So that's good. Um, in fact, I may run that wire this way and have my switch over on this side of the wall. Because, uh, like I said, I want to be able to turn off this deployer so it doesn't waste uh, precious EMC. And uh, that actually kind of works out right here. I'm going to put the lever right on this wall or something to be able to turn off all these machines. we got a lever right there. Where's a wire? There we go. I thought I had some insulated wire. Somewhere else. I, I got the covered wire, but I thought I had insulated wire. Which is completely different. Damn it. Okay. So that's... F hmm. I'm going to have to bring it around the back end of this. Hello. Thank you very much. I don't like that. going to be wasting a lot of... Um, a lot of wire on this, but that's fine, because that's what it's for. I made it to be used. Damn, one short. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, well, that's fine. Actually, I'll just take this stuff. This is a failed experiment anyways. I'll probably use electrical engines on... Uh, what was I trying to do? The yeah, the thermiotic fabric fabricator. I'll just uh, you know testing that. Bam! So that's all connected. Um, we'll do we'll do that just to make sure. That should be all right. And did I just pull an egg through the? No, I didn't. Hmm. Okay. So we got that all set up. Now we need our generators which is uh, actually going to be sort of a problem since I got these these all crossed up. In fact, I guess I could have my electrical engine take power right off of my generators um, instead of pulling from the battery, which is, uh, which is something we could do. It would save us a lot of space here because then I could bust this up and have... Um, well, like I said, the generators need to have inputs on the bottom, which is where they will uh, accept their uh, lava cells. In my mind, this was more compact. Now, uh, no, I'm not too sure. Okay, there we go. do one of those. All right. And then uh, we're going to need some supplier pipes. Of course, I don't have any anymore because uh, my game got corrupted. So we'll look up some logistic pipes and we'll get um, some supplier pipes right here, which is lapis around a um, just a regular old basic one. Uh, let's get 10. And uh, I guess it would help if I had some 
the basic pipes. So there we go. We need a few of these anyways, so I'm okay with making a little bit extra. So that's going to have one, that's going to have one. So these two are going to be connected. Uh, man, I am just forgetting all the pipes I need. I only got one stone transport? No. I got more than that. In fact, I should be able to see them through here. Cobblestone, stone transport, there we go. Yeah, I knew I had a bunch. We'll get uh, we'll get 20, which should be more than enough, honestly. Boop, 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 boop. Come on, you could, do, you could do more than one at a time, bro. Okay, so we're going to connect these to, uh, to our chest here. Right there. Which is, um, actually, this needs to be a provider pipe, I believe. So where's our provider? Request provider pipe, which is glowstone on top of a basic logistics pipe. So we'll come back here. I don't have any glowstone on me. Get this. We'll take 10. Why not? Over here. Nope. Here we go. So now we got ourselves some provider pipes, which are awesome. There we go. Hook that up. Uh, in fact, I don't really like how that's touching, but I don't think it really matters. So we can leave it alone. Um, that doesn't, uh, I made crafting pipes. Shoot. Goldstone. Oh, it's on, st it's on top. I, I messed, I messed up. In my brain, I'm always like, okay, no, it goes side by side, dummy. So anyways, let's get, uh, let's get 10 more of those. We'll put these uh, these crafting pipes away because we're gonna need them anyways for down below. You guys saw how many uh, how many of those um, crafting tables I have. So five. On top of it, we get the provider one. That makes sense. Okay, and then back over here, bam. So that's a provider pipe. It's basically going to um, to talk to all the items that are inside of here, which. Um, Basically, it was what we're gonna say is like we need you to to give these uh, lava cells. So I want you to keep. Let's do yeah, we'll do four. Why not? Keep these filled up with four four lava cells. Okay, and since there's none in there right now, let's just test this out by throwing some in there. And as you can see, it starts filling them up and put four inside of each or both sides of these. Now it's going to need a lot more than that. Oh, see, it's it's doing it by itself. See how there's none in here, so it's gonna keep filling it until it's full, and then it'll keep a stockpile or a stock of four of them in each one. So right now those are creating energy, hopefully. Oh wait, no, we need to. Uh, these actually need to go into the side here. There we go. See now they're always on. So now I was putting power right back into our our MFE, charging that thing right back up, which is good. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to run out of lava cells, and uh, as soon as I said that, we did. But this is all done. That's good to go, or that section of it. But the thing is, is that this is going to need a steady supply of uh, cans or cells or whatever I decide to use. In fact, I'm going to use cells... Even though cans, cans would work as well, and I think they actually use less resources, but I, you know, I already set it up, and I already got the crafting table for it, so what we're going to be doing here is using another supplier pipe right on top of our lovely bottler right here, and we're going to tell it to keep um, probably 16 cans um, uh, stocked up. So actually, let's... Uh, Let's bring that over here like that. There we go. Now we got some power in here, which uh, should be good enough. Uh, once this thing starts going, these will kick back on. So we're getting a little cramped in here. That's that's for sure. But anyways, we need to we need to connect this pipe with our system over here, right here. And uh, we can't just have an intersection. 
So let's grab another basic logistics pipe because you don't want to have an intersection in your, your system and it not know which way it needs to go. So this is actually, this might actually be a little bit of a problem. Can I go up at all? I can. Wow. Really lucked out on the placement of that. Look at that. We, uh, we definitely, definitely lucked out. So we're going to run this this way right there and uh, I'm gonna go request myself 16 cans or empty cells rather can cells, same thing so we'll get 16 of these puppies through here A giant stream of them thank you very much we'll come over here and tell it right here I wanna keep 16 of these stocked up that's going to talk to the system and as you can see already it's already asking or it knows that it needs to make them it's going to send all those cells over here and send them straight into our bottler and our bottler is then going to have 16 empty ones in fact I'm going to give it um, the other 16 I have so it'll have a little bit of a uh, little of them to work with and uh, these are heating up that's good and um, I am a little worried about how slow this is going to be, but that's okay. Like I said, after a while, it's going to stockpile itself. And see, this one already has three just hanging out in it, while well, this one does not, which is uh, which is fine. So we still need a timer for right here. So let's go make that. Those uh, those are also very fun to make because I don't have any stone wafers left, which we smelt stone for. So let's just actually get a few of those done right now I want to try to take it before it takes them out okay so we have some stone wafers and uh, I'm gonna need some redstone I believe do, do, do. that's that's not redstone I wanted right above it thank you very much and uh, let's let's eat some food there we go Okay, so we need to make a bunch of these things. So I got a few of these left. Let's um, I think a stone pointer. I only need one of those, and then cathode. Okay. Wow. Okay, and we get three of those. Okay. Do 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 do. Oh wait, wafers. Silly me. There we go. We got three of those. We only needed two, but that's fine. And then three of those. Okay, let's uh, let's just copy that over here. Just so we have it. We need one, two, three. So two blank ones right there. Three of those. A pointer for the little center bit. And then uh, two of these for the corners and we get ourselves a timer honestly the red power stuff is just I think having a whole crafting system dedicated to just those would be just fantastic so as you can see it's uh it's kind of going through this is not really what I wanted to do hmm with this on, I need these to be... Whoa, I just kind of slid through this and into there. I need this to shut off when this is on. No, when it's off. When it's off, this shuts off. That's what I mean. So let's, uh, let's experiment a bit here. Where's my timer? Nope. Because this is uh this is natively on, which is uh, cool and all. Let's take that out so we don't get annoyed by it. I guess I could do like an invert cell. Get one of these. 
But the thing is, I don't want to have to make another one of these. Because <laughs> those are kind of, uh, they're not fun to make. Hmm. Okay, give me a second to see if I can't figure out on how I'm going to go about doing this. Okay, so uh, the way I think I'm going to go about doing this is actually just have them on two different switches. So I've already ran this one through and I'm just going to put my timer right here. And uh, that way I still have access to this. But, um, oh shoot, let me get my, uh, my handsaw which I don't think I can actually get through here because I only got one of them. I think I got one. I've used them before, but then again, I have died and my world's been corrupted a few times. Hmm. Uh, shoot, it does not... It's not look like I currently own one anymore, so let's just make a diamond one just so we have the top tier um, little handsaw diddly do. So I think you need three, and um, I think three iron as well, and I think that's it. I want to say it's. I'm trying to do this from memory here. Something like that. Maybe no? Maybe it's only two? <laughs> there it is. Okay, so a little diamond handsaw. What we're going to be doing is um, we'll use cobblestone. 16, and then we're going to use panel strips, which is going to block our two cables here from touching so then I can put that one there like that and have these two switches right next to each other and them not uh, interfere with uh, themselves. I'm going to put those away and uh, do I have another lever? I do not. Nope. Why is it why does it seem like you, you never you never have a lever when you need it. Never have a lever. Nope, other way. There we go. I knew that. So there we go. And then when this one's on, that's off. So let's just put this on. I did my testing with 12 seconds. Let's uh, let's actually go 15 on this one. Just so it's a little bit less. And um, put our amulet in there and go make it its own Klein Star. Which we're going to have to charge up. Which is fine. So we'll use our Klein Star to make it a baby Klein Star, which is fine. And uh, we're going to need to charge it up. And uh, I got one diamond. It's going to need more than just one, though. So let's let's grab a couple more. It's not like we're a short or short on diamonds. It's pretty easy to to do them. All right, that's just under fifty thousand, which is what it can hold. Alright, so here we go. And we put our uh, Klein Star Klein, Klein Ein, which is hard to say. So that way it, now it has fuel to use it. In fact, I'll show you here. Uh, we'll give it its 15 seconds that it needs, but then it'll deploy, hopefully correctly, because it's open right now. Which is it because of this wire here? I think so. I think this wire is actually providing power for it. Is it that one? Yeah. So I can't have an open wire like this. These wires have to be insulated. So let's uh, let's actually go do that. Um, so we'll keep that closed up for now. And I believe we need some wool for this. And I don't want to waste any wool. So I'm going to go over here. Hello, Reginald. How are you? And we need uh, two, three, four, five, six, I believe. Can I do it in here, actually? No, I didn't think so. OK. 
Can I use this wire at all, actually? I'm not even 100% sure. I think I have to use, actually... Oh, I just crashed. Okay, so I just crashed. That's fine, hopefully. Okay, it looks like... Looks like everything's still here. Let's, uh, let's go check on our situation down here. Okay, we got our two switches. Alright, everything, everything seems to be fine, okay. So apparently making, um, insulated wire the way I was trying is just, it doesn't, doesn't work out like that, but we still need wool regardless. Six, there we go. And, um, we'll grab some bars out of here. We'll just, I don't want to use the, I think, I want to say it's the Philosopher's Stone that did it to me. But, um, let's try again. Okay, white insulated wire. That's, that's fine. We'll go with white. Okay. Glad it didn't crash on me. Always picking up Reginald's eggs. So insulated wire is basically the same type as this wire, it's just it doesn't provide a redstone current to the blocks that it touches. Um, for you to connect the stuff to actual wires and, and things like that, you have to have um, uninsulated wire like this, which is, uh, it's still doing it. So let's bring it down even further. There we go. Now it's not open. But as you can see, it did fire it real quick. Um, can I do that? No, it's still going to want to connect to that. But that's fine. It doesn't seem to bother it. So anyways, let's uh, let's crank this one on right here. And um, it's, it's going to pump it out real quick at first because it, it needs to um, um, kind of build up its surplus, you know? But you'll see it opened up and it provides lava, which then gets pumped out fairly quickly. In fact, we'll take this down a few seconds just for now. And we can actually, we'll take it up to like seven seconds. See, this is where the testing kind of comes in. Because right now it has to fill up its own buffer. And then after that, then you can slow down. That seems to be pretty good for right now to get it going. And um, this engine is now going as well, which is good. And it should be. It's providing plenty of power to make these these cells, which is good. This thing is going to request them when it needs it. I don't have to look at these freaking things blink. In fact, I can wall this all back up. And uh, I don't even need to see any of that. There we go, and then we just have our two switches here, which is going to be our power, basically. If we are low on power, we can switch this on, and we don't have to listen to this forever. Because this, this is going to get annoying, you know, granted. Um, but the thing is, I shouldn't have to do this a whole lot. Do this for a while, get a surplus of uh, lava cells in here. Because as you can see, it's keeping them topped off with four on each, which is good. It's go only going to take them when it needs it. Let's just wait and see. Maybe one go through? Maybe? Perhaps? You're looking a little low. Kind of blinking a whole lot. It's like strobe lights, you know? You can put these, like, on the top of my mountain. So, like, when I'm out and about, it's like, I don't know where I am. And then I see just my whole mountain just blinking like crazy. Oh, yeah, that's that's where I live. I live right over there. As you can see, though, a lava cell it it lasts a long time. You know, it's not gonna it's not gonna pull a lot out. In fact, I could make it to where, at least I think I can, to where it'll shut this whole machine off if it notices that the inventory in here is lower than a certain number. So uh, if I keep that number at like ten or something, because it doesn't need a whole lot. Then it only turns on when it needs them. But as for right now, since uh, this is honestly the first 
little system I've ever thought of uh, on my own without, you know, an outside influence or anything like that. Um, I'm okay with this current setup. See, we got, we're pretty much full on lava right here, so I'm going to kick this back up to 15 seconds so we don't listen to it, you know, the whole time. Because uh, we got a pipe full, and um, this is basically full. I'm okay with that. The only thing that sucks about this current setup is that I gotta wait for this redstone engine to pump it out, but it's not it's not making them really much any faster than what this thing can pull out at the moment, which I'm okay with. So we'll keep that open, and we'll put a door or something there for maintenance issues or things of that nature. go we'll put a torch in here that's good okay and uh, do I have any wood on me I should yeah I can kind of make a door sometimes I remember how to make doors everybody there we go and uh, that's actually gonna open every time I shut this off <laughs> that's fine that's fine I don't, I don't mind that I could move it over, but whatever, it's it's fine. Uh, okay, well, I think that's about it, really. I mean, this is that's gonna keep this topped off. Maybe I'll um, maybe I'll put in like a window or something here, you know, so I can kind of keep an eye on it. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm thinking window right now, but do you guys think it might look ugly? We'll grab. Uh, two things of glass because I don't have any on me nope there we go so we can kind of see how it's working and everything like that and uh oh <laughs> okay all right that's that's gonna be more annoying than than good at the moment because now our our red power wires there they're also touching it so let's just move it over here Oh, what's this? Hello. Okay. Just gotta make it look pretty, you know? Can't just leave this looking like crap. You guys should know by now I enjoy building more than I do making these uh, these complicated machines and stuff like that but there we go now you know that looks even better now I should be able to yeah, now it's not gonna open it up I could still get back back here if I need to to check up on how things are doing see we already got 35 cells which is fantastic um, which honestly I'll probably shut this off in a little bit just because I don't think I would need any more than that in fact it would have been better if I brought that chest over here so I can just check up on its stock um, every now and then. But uh, for now, this is good. I'm happy with it. But um, anyways, hopefully that helped everybody else. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do next. But I do have to go work on some other stuff, so I'm going to stop recording for today. But tons of footage for you guys, if you will. And uh, I'll see you guys later.